the Canberra people will, will realise a better resource. And so these systems are designed to both increase the water quality at the reservoir and also maximise the potential for the ecosystem and uh, bring the reservoir back to a more natural, balanced uh, life cycle. As Australians, we can be proud of this uh, technology because this is an Australian-owned company. The pilots are, are sling pilots or long line pilots, so they specialise in, in flying the helicopter with a static line underneath and then obviously a load. Uh, and you know, obviously it takes thousands of hours to be able to master that type of flying. Uh, the majority of, of guys that you'll see flying with us you know, have around the, the 5,000 hour plus. Uh, Steve Elliott's my name, I'm from Wares Australia, I'm the CEO. Uh, today we're about to install these uh, Resmic systems which are behind me. They're very large axial flow reservoir systems that are being installed at the new expanded Cotter Reservoir. I'm Eric Rajapaksa, another project manager in the Active Corporation. We started this project, uh, putting up uh, this de-stratification unit, unit to new enlarged cotter dam uh, along with the AT Alliance. This is mainly to improve the water quality of the dam. My name is uh, Matt Edwards, I'm the Director of Operations at Helicopter Lifting Services. Today, um, Wes um, has partnered with us, uh, Steve approached us um, obviously on this project uh, and wanted us to come in and uh, lift his Resmix units uh, to the Cotter Dam. Um, they weigh around about 1800 kilos. Um, we're using a Bell 212 twin engine uh, utility helicopter to lift them. and um, We've got to travel about five kilometres as the crow flies from this staging point to their final resting place in the Cotter catchment. Active Corporations with AT Alliance started doing business to deliver projects in an efficient manner. So Alliance, in partnership with Active Corporations, started delivering these this projects as well. This is another way of delivering projects efficiently. We share the, the gain as well as the pain. In 97, when, we, when I first started uh, looking at the potential for circulating reservoirs, it was in small reservoirs and particularly in uh, facultative lagoons for sewage treatment works. And uh, we were looking for alternative uh, energy, wind energy, solar energy. We were looking for alternative ways to treat the water and using very low energy to do the same job that was done previously with the compressed air systems. Today, compressed air systems are becoming redundant around the Western world, and uh, this, the Resmic systems are replacing previous old technology. The system grew out of that initial research, and uh, we rapidly discovered that the uh, potential for circulating large reservoirs was such that we could improve the source water, or the water at the reservoir, the bulk water at the reservoir, and minimise the cost of water treatment plant downstream. And so the design has grown over the, uh, the next su uh, some 15 years. These units were fabricated in one of the regional towns in Queensland of Brisbane. And once they fabricated, we made a inspections and we organised to assemble here in next to the urea treatment plant. Once it is assembled, as you can see, this because of the size, we can just transport uh, into the dams. So we are going to use a helicopter to heli lift and place in the dam and anchor. The company was formed to take on difficult access jobs and aerial crane operations within Australia. Um, it's quite a large uh, concept in America uh, that's been going for quite a lot of years. Uh, the Australian construction industry hasn't really seen an operator that uh, dedicates themselves to helicopter crane operations. Um, so HLS was really formed in Australia to take on that direct construction work with, with the construction industry. 
The majority of our work is built up um, aerial work um, and confined space work, uh, you could say, with, with the helicopter. Um, you know, obviously competing directly with the cranes, uh, we can lift twice the amount of loads they can, um, you know, in a fraction of the time. Um, just primarily from our setup phase alone, where it's a lot easier to set up uh, the helicopter lift process than the crane. And then obviously you've got to take into account as well the large amounts of manpower that come with a crane um, of such size to be able to reach onto high rise buildings, etc. So uh, we become quite competitive there with, with that. One pilot and two load masters. So um, there's one pilot on, on, on the machine, flying the machine, and then we have a pickup point load master who's responsible for the attachment of the load to the aircraft. And he's then verifying with the pilot that that load's right to fly. So as the pilot positions the aircraft over the load, he'll confirm that everything's connected, uh, the load's you know basically ship shape and ready to go before he departs the staging area with it. Uh, and then once he approaches the set down point, we have another load master there who what we call cons the pilot in. So he's basically acting like a, a dogman per se in a craning operation. And he uh, cons that load into the set down point. Uh, and obviously the pilot doesn't do anything without the confirmation from that guy on the ground first um, that he's ready to receive the load. <laughs> And so this is the culmination today of uh, some three years of pre-design work, manufacturing and installation by Wares. And uh, so it's, a, it's an exciting day and it'll be a, a good day for Canberra citizens. This is, this is a very, very good addition and it, it, has a guarantee, it is giving us a guarantee that we have enough water under any circumstances to distribute, treat and distribute to the Canberra people.